It's time to open up the brand new Hisuian Zork box. And one of these tins, just for good measure. We're gonna start off with, of course, the tin. Now, the tin's pretty basic in terms of what it includes in it. Um, it's pretty much just three packs and a coin. Uh, but the three packs are Chilling Rain and Two Lost Origins. So we're gonna start with those, and then we're gonna open up the Hisuian Zoark box, which is one of many, many products that has come out over the past few weeks. Uh, and of course, you know, as soon as I'm trying to, you know, slow down severely on buying Pokemon, they keep releasing new stuff that looks awesome. So naturally I wanna get it. Uh, here is the code card for Chilling Rain. All right, let's see what we got here. Maybe we'll get something cool out of Chilling Rain. That'd be nice. Agatha. Flannery. Old Cemetery. Oh, I forgot the energy, which is fire. This pack is gonna be lit. So I'm trying to make a little more room on my table so I have room for everything. Okay, there we go, that's good. Garuki. Score Bunny. A run, Snow Runt, Venipede, we get a Reverse Hollow Spirit Tomb, and a non hollow Go Lurk. So nothing particularly noteworthy. The Spirit Tomb is cool, but nothing crazy. Lost Origin, a set that uh, I haven't opened nearly as much of as other sets. Um, I don't know why. I would love to open more Lost Origin. Actually, I'm planning on opening more in the future, and you'll see that for a future video. Okay. Well, we got some Lost Origin today. Water Energy. Okay, here we go. Mirage Gates. Cascoon. Ambipalm. Jinx. Litwick. Oddish. Love Disc. Phalanx. Ooh, we got a Trainer Gallery Roserade. And a non hollow Minetric. Pretty sure I don't have that Roserade, so that is a nice score. Definitely happy to have that. Last Lost Origin pack, and then we're going to get into the Hisuian Zoark box. Uh, and that should be fun to open. Hopefully that's not the only pull I get out of this tin, though. Okay, here we go. Last... Last pack magic, potentially, for the tin, hopefully. We have darkness, like my soul. Okay, here we go. Gloom. Gift energy. Gastrodon. Inke. Basculin. Jinx. Makuhita. Bronzor, we get a reverse holo Cascoon, and a non holo Malamar. So, only one trainer gallery pull out of that entire 10. That's about what I expect. Here is the Hisuian Zoark box. As you can see, it comes with some cool stuff. Uh, this just came out. Of course, it's similar to the other premium collections like the uh, Dialga and Palkia ones, uh, which I have not opened the Palkia one yet. Uh, I really wanted the Dialga one because Dialga is my favorite legendary, but I uh, haven't gotten Palkia. Eventually, I think I will get it, but uh, not yet. But this one looks really cool. I like Kasurian Zoark a lot, so I figured, you know what, might as well grab it. So let's go over all the stuff that is included in this box. And there's actually quite a bit, so... Uh, these, by the way, the uh, premium collections are $40, uh, so just keep that in mind. They're, they're definitely some of the more expensive Pokemon card products out there. So for starters, we get this sweet-looking Hisuian Zoark pin. Pretty dope. Happy to add that to the pin collection. I actually have a decent collection of pins. Of course, we have your classic V-Star marker, which everyone has a million of by now. 
We have our Jumbo Hisuian Zoark V-Star card, which is pretty awesome. Definitely add that to my Jumbo collection. I'm actually gonna save the code card for this because um, my brother plays the TCG online. So I'm gonna save some of the, the, the package um, code cards for him, but I'll of course still give out a bunch. Here is the Hisuian Zoark coin. And then of course we have our promo cards. We have the Hisuian Zoark full art. That is beautiful. And the Hisuian Zoark V-Star alternate art from the regular set. Same as the jumbo card. So pretty nice. Good collection of stuff. And we got a grand total of six packs in this. So not too bad. And it's a good collection of packs, to be honest. We have Chilling Rain, Fusion Strike, Lost Origin, One Astral Radiance, and Evolving Skies. So I think I'm going to save Evolving Skies, Lost Origin for the end. Yeah, I think we'll do it this way. So we're going to start off with Astral Radiance, a set that I've opened a lot of, to be honest. Uh, probably more than anyone should. And there's still a lot of cards we have not pulled from Astral Radiance, but it's not a set I'm like super dying to go back to just because there's so many other sets that are coming out. So definitely want to open the newer stuff. Okay. Ooh, we got a V-Star marker. Okay, here we go for Astral Radiance. Energy Lotto, Overquill, Kamado, Vasculin, uh, Glimmeow, Luciana, Swine Up, Quillfish, we got a Reverse Hollow Avalog, and a Hollow Mesprit. Nothing crazy there. Chilling Rain. Two Chilling Rain packs opening today. Because the tin... I, I think Chilling Rain is one of those sets that they're just... They have a ton of. And so they're putting in like every package they could possibly put it in. Apparently Chilling Rain was not the most popular set. Who would have thought? Okay. That's not the one I'm excited about. Because we got, we got some pretty exciting stuff coming out. Here's a Grass Energy from Chilling Rain. Okay. Sorry, I'm trying to arrange my stuff. There we go, okay. We have Spiral Energy. Honey, honey. Avery. Grookey. Clavopus. Sneasel. Farfetched. Cast form, we have a reverse hollow lay rod and a non-hollow Viper. Well, I will say of the sets that I've opened so far, I'm glad I didn't get a crazy hit from any of them. I mean, obviously I want a crazy hit, but I'd rather save it for the last half packs. Um, Fusion Strike has some good packs or some good cards in it. So maybe we'll pull something good out of Fusion Strike. Who knows, we'll see. All right. Steel energy for this time. Alright, here we go. Nine tails. Farewell. Farewell, Bell. Lapani. Meow. Meryl. Helioptile. Wulu. Gussifleur. We got a Sizzlipede and a non-holo Levani. So those were the sets I, I care a little bit less about. So hopefully we're gonna get something out of these three. Lost Origin time. So this package actually includes two Lost Origin and then a bunch of other packs, including Evolving Skies. Of course, I saved Evolving Skies for the end because that's the one I would love to pull something crazy out of. If I pull another Rayquaza. <laughs> Wouldn't that be something? Or the uh, Moon Brown. Beast Star Marker this time. Okay, here we go. Uh, Torkoal. Arezu. 
Relicanth, Love Disc, Phalanx, Poliwag, Gligar, Gumi, we got a Reverse Hollow Bronzong, and a non hollow Macargo. All right, two more packs. We got Lost Origin and Evolving Sky. So far, we have pulled one hollow, and that's it. And that's pretty sad. So I'm hoping they save the good pulls for either Lost Origin or Evolving Skies. Ideally, Evolving Skies. Here is the code card. Okay. I've not looked at any of the code cards, which is awesome. Fire. This pack is going to be lit. Okay, here we go. Gloom, Luminion, Mirage Gate, Inke, Squovit, Phalanx, Poliwag, Oddish, we got a Reverse Hollow Comfy, and another non hollow Malamar. So, so far we have pulled absolutely nothing from the Zoark box. So maybe it's saving all our luck for the last pack, which is Evolving Skies. That's the hope anyway. Please be lucky Evolving Skies, because man, this this uh, opening has been kind of garbage. I pulled one trainer gallery and that's it so far. So here we go. Okay, last pack magic. Can we get something crazy from Evolving Skies? Electric Energy. That's for a shock. Okay. High Roar. Herdier. Shopping Center. Hop It. Hit One Shan. Fletchling. Tentacool. <clears throat> Pikachu. Lucky Ice Pop. Will we be lucky afterwards? Nope. We got a non hollow Stoutland. So that was a really garbage box. Really garbage box. Uh, didn't get a single pull. I got one hollow, and that's it. So, good thing the rest of the stuff that came in is good, but the pulls were terrible. <laughs> so, eh, it is what it is. That's that's how things are sometimes with Pokemon. Sometimes you get absolutely stacked boxes, and sometimes you get absolute garbage. And in this case, I got the latter. Anyway, that is going to do it for this episode of Unboxing Pokemon. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. So hit that subscribe button, click the notification bell. That way you know when new videos drop. And I will see you on the next episode of Unboxing Pokemon. Bye. <laughs>